wound up having to buy a new set of batteries for the golf cart. Uh, we bought it. We thought that the batteries in it would make it this year, but they just didn't. They just uh, they got so bad that uh, you can only make like two trips to the garden and they were dead. So time for some new batteries, and I wound up getting interstate batteries. Um, basically because of the price. Um, I got them at Costco. I had called for Trojans. I called the distributor and they wanted $239 per battery and I wound up getting these for 106 so I felt it was a you know enough of a difference to take a chance. And while I was at Costco they had these uh, really neat little roll around carts with a drawer on sale for like 25 bucks off. They were on sale for $39 so I just grabbed one to have something to sit my butt on when I'm working and uh, you know basically it's a really nice made little stand with a pretty good pull out drawer in there and some little plastic shelves that go on it and a couple of really nice casters it says it'll hold 350 pounds so I shouldn't be a problem on it and there it is all put together sure is comfortable and um, I think it's going to be handy to have around the garage and there is also a little spot on the back there where you can drop a drill in there too which I thought was pretty neat you never know what you'll find on sale in Costco when you go in there but back to the batteries I uh, time to change them over and these are the old batteries that were in the cart um, they're 2014 batteries so they had five years of use on a golf cart and basically they're completely toast so I'm just going to start by first disconnecting that main uh, negative cable where the fit where the 48 volts comes out of to get that off of there and um, I also shut off the computer I didn't show you I just flipped a switch on the computer before I did that and it's a real simple matter there's two banks of three one on each side and there's just a uh, nice little plastic hole down there that holds them down and just have to remove the nut from that and then it's pretty easy to access the batteries after that and what I did before I started this, I just drew a little sketch of exactly where the pluses and minuses were on everything just so I could, you know, have that if anything went wrong and I forgot how they came out. And then it's just a matter of, uh, there's very simple cabling. It just goes from one negative terminal to a positive terminal and so forth. And, um, you know, just keeps adding up the 8 volts until you get to 48 volts. So I just, uh, you know, started by removing each of the cables here um, and just kind of put them, put them in a position the way they go just so I know, you know, exactly where they went back. And then these batteries had some kind of a fill system on them that really uh, I had no connector for it. And there's no way that it really looked like it would work because half of the valves in the, um, the cells just didn't move anymore. So I just figured I'm going to rip that out and put the new batteries in without it because it's not something I'll probably use anyway. I'll just uh, check them all the time. That's a, one thing you always have to remember to do with these golf cart batteries. Uh, they're not sealed. They need, you know, they need to have water added as it boils away. But it's just a matter of, uh, basically, I'm just doing one side at a time and just disconnecting, removing all those cables between them. And then it comes to a point where you just have to start to pick them out. And I have to warn you, these batteries are heavy. Um, actually, the ones coming out of it, I'm going to guess they're about probably about three to four pounds heavier than the ones that I bought at Costco. So they, you know, definitely are a heavier duty battery that comes in the cart. But, um, you know, I just couldn't justify going with the Trojans when they, the price them was well over twice what the Costco batteries were. And, um, you know, even if I only get half the life out of them, which I'll probably get more, you know, it's still going to be worthwhile for me for just running around the yard. Plus, uh, you know, Costco has a good warranty. If anything happens to any of these batteries in the first year, you just bring it back and they'll give you another one. Um, and another good thing was they were all, uh, you know, just last month's date. So they all had a real good date on them, too. So these, uh, you know, it's just a matter of setting the three batteries back in that side and you know again as I said they are extremely heavy um they weigh they weigh over I think these weigh almost 65 pounds a piece so you do have to feel you know be careful you don't get your fingers squished or anything 
and once you you get them in it's just a matter of um, getting the battery hold down bracket back in there again and it in the end it it basically took uh, less than a half hour to get them all switched over and um, you know the cart running again and it, this has been really a great addition to the yard my my wife really loves it and um, I've even been using it to run back and forth to the garden but with the batteries as weak as they were getting um, it really just about became worthless because you had to just run it down and bring it back put it on the charger so uh, that wasn't worth it so that's just one thing you want to look out for when buying a used golf cart you want to you know, either make sure they've got like new batteries in it or good batteries in it, um, or make sure that the price is adjusted to uh, reflect old batteries. And then it's time to put all the cables back on now that uh, I got the batteries in there. And I found out that just that uh, brake cleaner spray actually was able to just dissolve and remove all the old uh, battery terminal protectant that they had used on it. You want to clean these up good so there's a a good um, connection on there and you know I, I did a little bit of sanding on them too and I just double checked there was no corrosion in any of the crimps or anything just to make sure you know everything would um, wouldn't have a problem later and then it's just a matter of starting to put them back on in the reverse of how they came off now they did come with some new nuts to put on them there so that really helped speed things up now you can see there on the side of the cart there, I had made like a, a yellow bee honeycomb type sticker to put on the cart at first. And uh, it turned out I really didn't like what it looked like down there. So I wound up removing that in the end, the two of them, and uh, making some different ones that uh, my wife and I agreed on. And we actually gave the cart a, a name just because of uh, what we've been doing with it. And went to... Once the terminals are on, you have to spray them. And I, I tried spraying the first two, and then I decided to wait till the end and just kind of do them all at once because it did make a, a little bit of a mess. And you could see where those caps were in the way, and I got a little bit of spray on the caps here and stuff. So I just wound up waiting till I was all done and went back and sprayed it. And, you know, it's the same thing. It's just, uh, just make sure everything is put together tight and everything is corrosion-free and... When you're using a metal wrench that you don't touch anything or short anything out while you're tightening it. And then this next is for the three on the other side. And again, they're, um, you know, they're really heavy. And you can see how they're all bowed out. It almost looks as if they were frozen or something at one point in time. I don't know, um, you know, the history of them. But probably that helped, uh, helped kill them too. And it was some. It was a couple couple quarters down in there and stuff I found between the two sides. So I got that all cleaned out and got the other batch molted down in there and uh, all ready to go. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back and uh, hook up the positive terminal on the the main bank there on that side. And then I'm just going to double check that I haven't turned that switch on. I want to make sure that the computer is still turned off while I hook up the other side. Just in case there's some arcing or anything. So then I just went back and I hooked up that negative uh, terminal there last. Tighten that up. and um, It's just a matter of throwing that switch here to turn the computer on. And here it is. I went back and I just took some uh, some rags and put them around the terminals there to kind of limit where I sprayed that battery protectant on. You really have to make sure they use this stuff for, um, you know, so you don't get any corrosion or anything in the long term. And I put the, just kind of flipped those caps around the other way. They fit the other way so they're easier to use and get at. And either something that will be removed quite often anyway to check the water levels. I got one of them done, and then I just went back to the the other five of them and uh, got them all sprayed up good. And this protectant really is good to use on any kind of a battery that you install. It really does help seal. I think it seals the moisture out that causes the corrosion. And there you can see that yellow sticker there I was talking about that I removed and uh, replaced with a new one.
so that's it it's uh you know it was a pretty simple job uh took less than a half hour to get them all in and uh you know about the only pain was paying for the battery so but these should last I'm, I'm hoping a good three to four years and then we came up with some new stickers i made for my for the golf cart there and um we're calling it the uh the garden gopher now because uh we keep saying you know go for this or go for that when you're down in the garden and uh it was just the uh you know the name we came up with for it and i put some little pink stickers on there for my wife um so she's happy to have it back and and now it's really great we drove it around and around and around the yard and we tried killing it and wearing them down and um we just couldn't and there she is taking a puppies out for another ride so um you know from the looks of it this these batteries are going to be fine for our use so keep you updated on how well that they stand up and uh you know how long they last but the, the cart definitely does go a lot faster now and it has a lot more acceleration and um it does really a lot better on the hills with these new batteries so you know the old ones really did make a difference here and there's the little girls out for a ride with her stop for a photo opportunity there get a picture and uh time to bring them in and feed them and as you see we finally have a sunny beautiful nice uh warm dry day um hopefully the garden will dry up from that rain last couple days so i can get back out there so i just thought i'd you know just share with you an update on the cart Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.